First, open the tea halo box. The box contains the tea halo the antenna, the mode switching chip and a few accessories. Then connect the devices. T-Halo has two modes that can be replaced by a flash chip. What we're going to show is the second model. You can see the Readme file for the chip corresponding to the pattern. When replacing the chip, note that the triangle corresponds to the origin on the chip. Power off the device first and then open the chip slot to replace the chip. Make sure to close the chip slot after replacing it. Open Ethernet settings to modify the network address. The device must be on the same network segment as another device. The subnet mask can be random. When the settings are complete, open the serial assistant. Open the serial port of the device. These are the instructions used Send ACE to view available commands. Send WNBCFG to view configuration information. Freak is frequency, BDW is bandwidth. The default mode of the device is STA mode. You can also query it by 80 plus mode. Because the other device uses stay mode, we need to set this device to AP mode. The device displays a successful pairing. Open the CMD command window. You can run the ping command to check whether the device is connected to another device. Getting a reply indicates successfully connecting to another device. To enable the TCP function of the serial port assistant, select client. Enter the Ethernet address you just set here. The port can be entered as required and then click. When hello is sent to another device, you can see the message received by the device on the server side. Turn on the Ethernet to change the network address. The device must be on the same network segment as another device. The subnet mask can be random. When the settings are complete, open the serial assistant.
Select CH340K to open the serial port. These are the instructions used. Send HWNBCFG to view configuration information. Freak is the device frequency and BW is the bandwidth. The default mode of the device is STA mode. You can also query it by AT mode. The device displays a successful pairing. You can view the connection status using AT plus CON state. Open the CMD command window. You can run the ping command to check whether the device is connected to another device. Getting a reply indicates successfully connecting to another device. Turn on the TCP function of the serial assistant here, select the server side. Enter the Ethernet address you just set here. The port can be entered as required and then click This shows another device joining the connection. Got a message from another device. According to the above settings, you can achieve one-to-many, setting one server and multiple clients. Message received on the first device connection. Now the serial port receives the message that the second device is successfully connected. You can also ping the addresses of the other two client devices from the server device. Type ping 10.10.10.156 and get a successful reply. Typing ping 10.10.10.10 also successfully got a reply.